In this video, I'm going to go over some mouth anatomy, more detailed mouth anatomy in Spanish versus some of the other things I've shared. So it overlaps with some other videos and stuff I've done, but I promise there will be some new terms as well, and it'll be good repetition, good practice for you as well, even if you've gone through some of those other things. All right, so I'm going to say each term in English, and then I'll say it in Spanish a couple times, and I'll pause in between so you can think about it at first and then say it out loud a couple times in Spanish. All right, so the first term is mouth. How do you say mouth in Spanish? La boca. La boca. And you probably noticed I said the, the mouth. Um, and that's because usually in Spanish when you talk about body parts, you say the. So it's a little different from English where we would say, does your arm hurt? They would say, does the arm hurt you? Um, like, te duele el brazo, or le duele el brazo, depending on tu or usted. But that's why we're going to say the every time, so just see if you can figure out whether to say el, la, los, las for each term. All right, so the next one is lips. How do you say lips in Spanish? Los labios. Los labios. And for bonus points, how do you say the lip singular. El labio. El labio. All right, next is teeth. How do you say teeth in Spanish? Los dientes. Los dientes. And if it was just one, it'd be el diente. All right, so next is gums. Las encías. Las encías. Cheek. La mejilla. La mejilla. Or if you're talking to somebody from South America, they might say la mejilla. That's uh, Argentina is known for that, but sometimes people in other countries too. All right. What about molars? So there's a couple of different ways to say molars. So I'll give you the one I was originally more familiar with first. Las muelas. Las muelas. So it turns out there's another way that I wasn't as familiar with, um, but it might be more common overall. Um, and so here's the second option. Los molares. Los molares. Okay, and using the first of those two options, how would you say wisdom teeth? Las muelas de juicio. Las muelas de juicio. And as you probably can tell, that doesn't mean wisdom teeth. It means judgment teeth, but similar idea, right? <laughs> Just kind of a synonym. All right, so the next term is tongue, the tongue. La lengua. La lengua. And FYI, just like in English, lengua can mean a language too. Many tongues. All right. Throat. La garganta. La, garga uh, la garganta. <laughs> Excuse me. And tonsils, las amígdalas, las amígdalas. And this one's not an, an anatomical term exactly, but it's very related. And that is, how do you say to swallow? Tragar. 
tragar, tragar. And I've been told that in some places, some people don't really like that word, maybe because it has something to do with alcohol or some other kind of unpleasant connotation. So sometimes people prefer to say pasar, like pasar líquido, pasar comida, pasar agua. So passing something through your throat. So if you want to learn some more anatomical terms, I've got a playlist here with other anatomy videos, as well as another playlist here with a bunch of really high-yield beginner Spanish stuff from pronunciation to specific vocab and more. And then if you look in the resources below in the video description, there's some other stuff, some other playlists as well. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.